Hello, class, can you hear me? Good. Hi, class, can you hear me? Class, can you hear me? Miguel Guadalupe, can you hear me? Can you hear me, class? Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I I I can't explain. I have my computer on since an hour, but I have problems with Zoom. Mm -hmm. So today after class, I'm going to uninstall Zoom and install it again mm -hmm. because it's Zoom the problem on my computer, I don't know what's wrong. It's because um, I checked for updates and everything and everything is updated. Okay. All right, how are you? Yes, great. What's Good. new, what's new in your life? Uh, you know, the weather is changing. <laughs> Did you like the rain yesterday? Was, uh, uh, heavy rain you know uh, about around here it, it rains it rains all night yeah that was so nice yeah. did you like it yeah it was fine it, it was first cool. time, did you? yes your cars were very clean this morning <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes Mm -hmm. Okay. Yesterday we did a little bit about noun modifiers, remember? Yes. And do you remember also what two cities we were talking about? Yeah, Melbourne and Sydney. And one is more like old fashioned and one is more modern. Do you remember? Yes. Melbourne is more old fashioned. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. in Melbourne is more old school, right? Let me see how good we remember. Okay, so as as what you remember from the reading, both Melbourians and Sydney siders love their city, yes or no? Yes. yes. True. True. You know, one time when we we're talking about cities in El Salvador, one thing I like about people from Santa Ana is that people from Santa Ana love Santa Ana. Yes, right. They are proud, like, yeah, I'm Santa Neco. Uh -huh. Okay, number two, Melbourne is famous for its spectacular beaches. True or false? It's false. The pace of life is slower for Sydney siders than Melbourians. I think that is false. I think I that is false. Oh. Melbourne gets ideas from different countries in Asia. Yes, yeah, true. It's true. true. Yeah, it was true. And we got them all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, lesson four, it says, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use reduced time clauses. Let's see what this is about. Teacher. Yes. 
It's raining here in my house. Where exactly? What city? Lourdes, Colón. Okay, so maybe I, I hope the rain comes here. Yes. Yeah. You're proud. The San Miguel is very, very hot. Mm -hmm. did, did it rain yesterday in San Miguel? No. Oh, oh man, it didn't. So sorry. We have the <laughs> hot tonight. Today, the weather was 105 Fahrenheit. Are you I, serious? 105 yeah, Fahrenheit? Yeah, 40 Celsius. Oh my God. Celsius. 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 Mm -hmm. 40? 40. Really, really hot. I haven't heard it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Yesterday, yeah. Jenny, it rained very, very hard in San Salvador. Wow. I woke up. I was like, wow, this is strong. <laughs> No. I was yes. thinking of, of taking my car out of the garage <laughs> so I can to wash. Work. <laughs> wash my car. Or wash the car. Yes, because today in the morning, all my neighbors, their cars look nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Larry, are you here? Oh, there he is. Yes. Okay, Larry, everything sounds perfect right now. Don't touch, anything. don't touch anything. Yeah, don't touch anything. Let's see when it changes. All right. The let's ghost. Listen. The ghost. The ghost. Yes. All right. Let's listen. Are you ready to learn about reduced time clauses? Stay and learn what they are about. We will learn today about how some other clauses of time can be changed to modify phrases but only when the subject of the adverb clause and the main clause are the same. If you use time expressions like right before, before, right after, after, and while, the time clauses can be reduced. Let's study the following sentences. After I finish my work, I head to the office. After finishing my work, I head to the office. Notice how on the second sentence we omit the subject and change the verb finish to present participle, finishing. Remember, the present participle always ends in ing. This is another example of using while. While I take my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. It can be changed to, while taking my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. Notice we omitted the subject again and the verb take became taking. However, other time clauses cannot usually be reduced. For example, ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. As soon as I get up in the morning, I race off to the gym. Until I've had my coffee break, I'm such a grouch. Whenever you have to work with numbers, plan to do it around noon. I've been at night person from the moment I started college. Okay, let's do one thing. Do you understand what is ever since? When do we use ever since? Since. When you're talking about past, but the action is continuing. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's good. What else? What else can we use for ever since? Ever since could also be like from the first moment you did that action. Or from the first time that happened. For example, I remember the first time I ate rellenos de ubre. I love them ever since. They're good. What? What is that? Ubre is <laughs> la parte de la vaca donde está la leche. The udder. 
so they stuff the kind of the kind of meat, right? Yeah, it's a meat. It's like they chicha stuff, vaca, right? So they stuff it with. How do you eat that? With, with, some with vegetables, egg, right? covered in egg. Mm. It's like you know, you know the papa, you know the killers, you know the. Oh yeah. But you know. but the thing is, I never knew. I never knew what it was. My mother would just give it to me. Mm. I said, "Mom, this is good. What is this?" And my mother, "Ah, it's chicken. Eat it." <laughs> Because if she told me what it is, maybe I would never eat it. Mm -hmm. So many years later, my mother told me, look, that's ubremo. Really? Oh, well, but I like it. <laughs> so ever since I, I tried ubre, I like it. Okay. All right. Um, can, so that's what ever since means. When, when the action for the first time that action or that moment happened. All right, Irena, can you give me an example? With ever since. Yeah. Can you give me an example with ever since? Um, ever since Ever since I was a child, I just, I just like grew up the trees. So ever since I was a child, I what? I uh, trepar árboles. I climb trees. <laughs> I'm sorry, I climb trees. Good, no problem. I'm sorry, teacher. Do you climb trees now? Uh, no. Then it's not correct because you have to say ever since. So from that moment until now. Ah, okay. Okay, let me see. For example, listen to this. My friend, he has a girlfriend and he went to visit her. She lives in um, La Campanera. I told him, hmm. don't go there. He said, no, it's, it's, it's okay, it's no problem. I have not seen him ever since. Okay. It's something that is continuing in the light time. Yes, an action you continued from that moment. Okay. Let me see. Uh, it, I can say uh, ever since I was I, no, I start uh, to drive in or oh, I learn driving. I still driving. No, I don't know, teacher, if it's correct. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to tell me. I'm Listen, to ever tell since you? is saying desde. Desde entonces. Ah, I see desde. It's, it's very simple, yes? It's like, for mm -hmm. example, do you know Messi? Mm -hmm. Messi is maybe the best player in history. But I don't know what happened. Ever since he went to Paris Saint-Germain, he hasn't been the same. Yes. You understand that ever since when, so what I'm trying to say is when Messi moved, mm -hmm. he has not been the change. He has not been the same, I'm sorry. Okay. So ever since that happened, he has not been the same. All right, so okay. for example, Luis, can you give me an example? Ever since, teacher. Yes. Wait. Oh, let me check my. Okay. Ever, ever since uh, I was a teenager, uh, we're I. We're not paying attention, huh, Luis? Yeah. Because you're reading now. <laughs> yeah, I am reading. No, give me your sentence. personal example. Okay. Ever since um, I, I play soccer one more time. No, it's not correct, Luis. I'm sorry. That's correct. No. I don't know if you heard the definition. I maybe like 10 times. Listen, please, class. So ever since it's, it's really not complicated. Ever since is from the moment that action started, you could have continued. I remember the first girl I liked. It was Brooke Shields in um, Return of the Blue Lagoon. 
Do you remember that movie? Yes. Ever since I saw her, I love women. <laughs> and that was a very, I was a little kid. It would be good if I say, uh, since I was a kid, I, I started to study uh, English. I, no, I'm sorry. I I have been studying English ever since. Yeah. Okay, so then this would be the correct way. I started studying English when I was a little kid. Yes. Okay. And I have continued ever since. Okay. Thank you. So ever since, one more time, it's really not complicated. Like, okay, let me give you one example. Uh, I can Coffee. say an example. Sure, please, please, thank you. Okay, um, ever since I am 50 year old, I, I got to play soccer. Okay, so you started playing soccer when you were 50. Yeah. Ok. Tengo curiosidad. ¿Qué me, lo di ¿Qué me quiso decir en español? Que a mis 50 años amo el fútbol. No. Para empezar, no. dijo play, no dijo amo. You ah. didn't say love. Ok. That's number one. I'm sorry. No. Ever since es esto. Look. El café. El café es algo que o nos gusta o no nos gusta. Right? Yes. No. Maybe. Do you understand coffee? Yes. Come on, class. Yes. 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 I, like I, like I like it. I like okay, it. Okay, thank you. Do you remember the first time you tried coffee? Now, maybe the first time is too like, oh, no, no, I will never eat that. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I remember the, I, I love That's coffee. Nice. I am really, I think I am addicted to coffee. And I drank coffee when I was very little. My, my grandfather gave me coffee. And when I tried coffee, I have loved it ever since. So listen, I drank coffee when I was a little kid. Or my grandfather gave me coffee when I was a little kid. And I love it ever since. What does that mean? Even now, I still love coffee. Okay. Did you, it could be a uh, negative or, or, or you didn't, no, it could you be don't negative. like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, uh, ever since I tried uh, the, the pacaya stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Pacaya stuff. Yes. Okay, relleno de pacaya. Um, I, I still don't like it. Okay, good. Yes. One time I went to Los Cebollines and I had a terrible service. I did not return ever since. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? I did not return ever since. So when, when did I stop going to Los Cebollines? Yes. After that time, I had terrible service. All right. Yes. For example, teacher, can I can I say, ever since I traveled to Peru, I couldn't forget those beautiful places. Exactly. In the mirror. What? If, for example, uh, can I say, I was a kid. Uh, no, no, like I, I, I have had trouble getting up early ever since I was a kid. Yes. Can I say that? Yes. It's definitely true. Yes. I don't go to church ever since I was a kid. So that means I stopped going to church when I was a little kid and now I don't go. Yes, um, otra cosa, por ejemplo, oh, 
Have you ever had a situation that you go to maybe a, a comedor, a diner, or a pupuseria, and the pupusas are so good, and you say, oh my God, donde han estado toda mi vida? And ever since you ate pupusas in that pupuseria, you have not changed it. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, um, uh, I, I went to one place and they say a uh, uh, pupusa loca. They, they make it good, really good. Okay. Uh, ever since I tried, I I can. Well, I still go there. In. Okay, you know what? L let me tell you an experience. Maybe five years hey, ago. Teacher, on a yes. One question. Mm -hmm. Ever since, not necessarily began the sentence, right? No, it can be at the beginning or at the end. In the end. The middle, Here, let me give you one example. Five years ago, my mother-in-law, she was sick in Christmas. She was sick. Not, not something serious, but she was sick. So she couldn't cook. So we went to this pupuseria where we normally go. And the pupuseria, they were selling gallina indias, ya horneadas, $20 each. That is correct. This, this sentence, the teacher. Uh, I, I was connect, connected ever since that you connect you. No? Nope. Mm. Because when you say I was, it's past. And remember, when we say ever since, it has a connection from the past to the future. I'm sorry, from the past to the present. Listen, listen to my example. If you do not understand my example, please tell me. Five years ago, my mother-in-law was sick in Christmas. She did not cook. So with my family, oh my God, what do we eat? So we remembered the pupuseria, they made um, baked, horneados, hen, gallinas, gallinas indias, horneados, $20 each. And with each gallina, they gave you a big bag of tomato sauce and a big bag of curtido and a big bag of escabeche. So we said, okay, Give me two. So for $40, we had two very nice um, gallinas with a lot of sauce and everything. And it was, when we were eating, we say, man, this is a good idea. Ever since that Christmas, nobody cooks in Christmas in my family. We buy, we buy the, the food prepared. Yes. Because it was it was a good idea because you save time, you save money, you save energy. So yeah. ever since, I mean, five years ago when we started that, we still do it. Then teacher, can I say, I don't like carrots ever since I was a kid or a child. Exactly. Okay. Oh, nudie, there's a storm. Okay. Yes, I don't like carrots ever since I was a kid. Um, I am claustrophobic. And this, this is true. One time, um, like 15 years ago, I had an accident. I fell from a roof. After that, Ever since, I am claustrophobic. I don't like, for example, I don't like galerias, the parking. Okay. Or multiplaza, or I like open places. Secuelas. ¿Quién tuvo COVID y le quedó una secuela? Me. What, what, what do you have? Uh, thrombosis. Ever since you got COVID? I, I got a uh, thrombosis. The, the doctor 
uh, gave me some uh, anticoagulantes. He gave you medicine. <laughs> he gave me medicine. Since but, I got but COVID. But you got thrombosis ever since you got COVID? Yes. Okay, there you go. That's a very good mm -hmm. example. So ever since I had COVID, I got thrombosis. So after that action until now, this is what's happening. Yes. Me too. Uh, ever since I had COVID, my asthma returned. Oh. Yes, I have not had any asthma problems for many years. And that moment, it did. Yes. It's really bad, teacher. Yes, sir. Um, there are so many uh, sequelas. Sequences. That, yes. Sequences that the people uh, don't know that they have. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so that's ever since. Really, it's not something complicated. But if you do this, if you do this, you're never going to understand. Um, if you're guessing ever since I play basketball, I watch TV. No, you're trying to make the sentence, but you're not understanding. Yeah. Ever since I listen to rock music, I say, oh man, this is my, 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 this is my music. Creo que le dijo una vez, ever since I read Lee, uh, Anne Frank, or ever since I read about the Holocaust, I stop believing in God. Yeah. Do you understand that? So what does that mean? Before, yes, I believe in God. But one time I started reading Anna Frank, I started reading the Holocaust, Joseph Mengele, and this, and I said, oh man. So ever since that, it, it did a big impact in my life and I stopped believing. Okay, so that's ever since. Do you understand it? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, teacher. Next. As soon as. En buen salvadoreños, al no más. Call me as soon as you get home. All right. Yes. Or um, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Mm -hmm. This famous at uh, the office, ASAP. ASAP. ASAP, sorry. No, it's okay. Hey, I need a favor ASAP. ASAP. Yes. ASAP is as soon as possible. No digan eso. I need a favor for yesterday. Wow. Porque ese es un modismo. En español se entiende. Hey, necesito un, un favor, pero para ayer. Para yeah. ayer. So we understand. Pero es un modismo. Modismo no es correcto, en idioma correcto. Entonces, si es un modismo y no es correcto en español, ¿cómo creen que va a ser lo mismo en inglés? Porque mucha gente dice eso. I need a favor for yesterday. Mm. ¿Ah? Igual, en inglés hay modismos que también nos quieren traducir en español y no. Yeah. Okay, Another so... expression is I need this one a las ya. Oh, ya, yeah, a las ya. Mm -hmm. It's true. Okay. Um, as soon as I. As soon as I finish the university, I will get married. Uh, as soon as I get married, I will have a kid. As soon as I have a kid, you know, you go. <clears throat> now, until... What is until? Until now. Until means after that moment. For example, listen, 
until I've had my coffee, I'm such a grouch. Grouch is this, like, in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. But when you have your coffee, like, okay, I'm normal now. So until I have my coffee, you know, sometimes bosses, they say, please class or, or please people don't talk to me until I have my coffee. Whenever. Anytime. Whenever is anytime. Call me whenever. Hey, when are you going to go to my house? Whenever. Whenever you need me, call me. Okay, and next is I've been a night person from the moment I started college. Okay, let's do the listening exercise. Let me see. I have a question. Do you understand the meaning of two? Yes. Yes. What is big? Do you understand big? Big? Yes. yes. Okay. And then there's too big. Oh, mm -hmm. What is the problem? Demasiado. Okay, what is the problem? What is the difference? I'm sorry. Different too much and too big. No, the difference between big and too big. Ah, too big it's is a, more big, it's bigger. It's a superlative. Oh, no, the superlative is biggest. Okay. Biggest. Comparative. No, the comparative is bigger. bigger. Now, uh, tell me what is the difference between big and big and too big? Is big is bigger than normal, maybe? Okay. Listen, it's very simple. The difference is that every time you say two before the adjective, two is a problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe not a big problem, but it's, it represents a problem. Let me give you an example. My brother-in-law, mi cuñado, he bought a beautiful dog house. It was nice, you know, like in Santa Anita. He bought one in Santa Anita. And he was happy and, you know, vaya yita, mira, perito. Oh my God, so beautiful, so beautiful. And, and then the house and then the house couldn't go inside the door. So the house was big, but in this case, what was the problem? The house was too big. Too big. Yes. So maybe my brother says, mm, that's a big house. Yeah, it's okay. okay, I'll take that one. But when he took it home, he realized, yes, it's big, but that's not it. It's too big. Y eso es también la diferencia en español. Grande y demasiado grande. Demasiado representa un problem. For example, a lot of money or too much money? What do you prefer? A lot of, a lot of money. Too much money. No, you know, a lot of money because it's okay. But, but if you have too much money... That can represent a problem. I don't know mm -hmm. what the problem is. Maybe you don't have a life. Mm -hmm. A private life or something. But you can you can use this expression too to say something positive. For example, I feel too happy. No. No, because no. two is always going to 
express a problem. A problem, okay. But remember that problem doesn't necessarily have to be a problem. A, a big problem, it's just a problem. You know what, teacher? Uh, last night, uh, one client, um, uh, he got robbed here in Santa Ana. Oh, man. And he carried too much money. <laughs> he, was, he, he carried about $18,000 because he had uh, sold one truck and um, he, uh, uh, he went to a, to a mall here in Santa Ana to, to have dinner and two cars, uh, um, two cars uh, assault him, assault him and take take the money. Well, take you know what, money. That, that was pre premeditated. Yes, it's what I, everybody's telling that uh, maybe the, the, the person who, who bought his car or from the bank, I, I started, I told I tell I told him when he uh, in which bank he was with, uh, withdraw the money in Banco Agricola, but uh, I don't know Elmer, but you the, the person who mocked you were in in the bank or you were chasing all day, <laughs> and and they stole the money. Wow, eighteen thousand dollars. Oh man, that's sad. Really? Yes. Eighteen thousand dollars. But he is okay. Uh, just yes, yeah, he, he, he had he had no 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 injuries or only I, I think uh, they they shot at his car. Uh, I don't know just to 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 scare him, but thanks God he he got any. Any problem? Okay. Oh my God, that's so sad. Yes, it is. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But you know, like uh, Oscar said, too. Yeah, he had too much money. Too much money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why did he have all that money outside? That's the same question I asked him. Uh, I I uh, hmm. learned yesterday. That in the bank, obviously, you if you're going to to dep deposit to, to have a, a, a cash deposit, deposit deposit mm -hmm. deposit uh, ten thousand dollars, you have to have a uh, you have to to report when you get it or that money and came how to you your, got to it. your to, how you got it yes and uh, they couldn't deposit in the bank because he haven't. He hasn't has he, the, he didn't have the the compraventa. The paperwork. And the paperwork. So he decided to, to pay the cash and go away. Wow. Yes. You know, I a long time ago I used to teach in La Loteria Nacional de la Vivienda. And they told me stories similar. They told me, look, teacher. If you ever win the lottery, <laughs> I think that person has like three months. And they told me stories like somebody went to your house, give me the money. And, and the most suspicious, the most suspicious is from La Loteria because what happens is, hey, I won the lottery, here's my ticket. So you have to go to the lottery that is by La Juan Pablo. There, you give your information, your Dewey, copy, okay? There, they give you a check to go to a bank. So in that case, two possible people saw your Dewey and your address. The person at La Loteria and the, and the teller in the bank. That's two possibilities. But who did you tell? I mean, I can let you stay. Yes. Yeah. That, that's the other possibility. So that's why it's very contradictive. Entonces, si la ganan, den, den la dirección de su ex. 
<laughs> they go kill her. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay, you know, um, one time, one time I had a girlfriend, but we broke up because she was too jealous. Do you understand too jealous? Yes. yes. I mean, there's there's toxic normal talks. jealous. <laughs> toxic. There's, yeah, there's toxic. No, yeah, that's mean too toxic. She was like now toxic. They jealous. are called toxic. Yes, they are called toxic. Okay, so uh, or you can say like uh, women. Oh, sometimes women say I don't like men who are too short or too tall or too too light like mm -hmm. like look mm -hmm. i am yellow light light ligero cherche chele yeah you know sometimes women say that oh, i don't like men who are too too white too dark too tall uh, too fat too fat, too drunk. So drink. Mm -hmm. Stingy. Too stingy. Too stingy. Too stingy. Too stinky. Too stinky. Oh, man. Oh, no, stingy, man. Stingy or stinky? It's stingy. Uh, all right. What is stingy? I think it's stinky. stinky. Too uh -huh. cold. Oh, too Elbow. stingy. Okay. Too yeah. cold. Elbow. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yes okay good yeah uh like me i don't like i don't like to be with people who are too much on the phone i really 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 hate that i hate to go to maybe to a for dinner or a bar or a reunion with friends and they're always like this <laughs> I, I understand that you need to check sometimes your messages, but too much time on, on, on that? No, it's not good. Okay, so that's the difference. So you can say, si yo digo, I don't like women who are too jealous. Quizás estoy dando a entender, okay, hay ciertos celosas que acepto. Paso. Pero too jealous, no. All oh, women are jealous. Yes. Mm -hmm. Chicas, ¿se acuerdan cuando sus papás les decían, that dress is too short? Es muy corto. Mm -hmm. Es muy tarde. Muy temprano. Okay, so that's the difference between two. Like, for example, El Salvador in the morning, there's not a lot of traffic. There's too much traffic, man. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, also, I think there's too many motorcycles right now. That's that's right. a very big problem. Too too many motorcycles. Hasta en EPA venden moto, yeah. Yeah. And too slow people driving too. Too many. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm, no, in this case, it would be people driving too slow. Okay. Yes. yes, because we don't have enough space here. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's listen to this audio. Chilling out. Can you hear? B. Listen yes. to Sean yes. S. I'm sorry, for example, poor Jenny, man. Really? Yeah. 100. In, in, in Fahrenheit, 105? Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's too hot. No, that's okay. not normal. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, go to San Salvador. It's very hot. Class, what? Okay, give me an example. Imagine I, I am drinking, I have drunk five beers. I am. <laughs> oh, whoa. In this moment, maybe I am, maybe I am drunk. 
Yes. Yeah. Depends. And I say, okay, class, yeah, my boy, it was good to see you. Bye. And you're thinking. Se debería ir así. Anda y anda de conjunto. Right? Yeah. But imagine I drank 25 beers, which I haven't. Right? But imagine I am. Okay, class. I'll see you <laughs> tomorrow. Okay, bye. In that moment, what do you tell me? Yeah, you're too drunk. Hey, you, yeah, have to, drunk. Too drunk. Drunk. you have to. Hey, you can't go, man. You're too drunk. Okay, yeah. good. That's the difference between drunk and too drunk. And you can say too much drunk. No, it's too drunk. No, it's too yeah. drunk. Too drunk. Okay. Okay, so let's listen to the audio then. Lisa, L, and Victor, V, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. One, Sean. You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. So when I start feeling that way, I call home. I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. Two, Lisa. I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work and we have two small children. So we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs and we adore our kids. But sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes too. Three, Victor. Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but as soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at Excuse me, listen to that expression, bumper to bumper. Do you know what that expression is? The traffic is bumper to bumper? bumper Very to bumper. slow? Too close. Or... Uh -huh. it's, like, it's like bumper to bumper. It's like, uh, very, it's a lot of traffic, very slow. Many cars. Like we. Vuelta de rueda. Ah, exactly. Vuelta de rueda. We say. Yeah, we do. Pero saben que es bien chistoso porque si analizan bien vuelta de rueda, es lo que hace una rueda. No es bien, no está bien dicho. Porque siempre, siempre va uno a vuelta de rueda. Pues sí, ya. Sea rápido o lento. Significa que la vuelta es más lenta. Yeah, no, we, we understand, but, uh, pero por eso es que se llaman modismos, porque yeah. es algo mm -hmm. propio de la cultura. De mm -hmm. Okay.
chilling out. B. So now I'm always full of energy and happy, but as soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. Okay, very good. Um, so, who has too little time, Sean, Lisa, or Victor? Lisa. Too much traffic? Victor. Uh, Victor. Victor. Too many responsibilities? Sean. Sean. All right. Let's listen to number two. Chilling out. B. Listen to Sean, S, Lisa, L, and Victor, V, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. 1. Sean You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. So when I start feeling that way, I call home. I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. 2. Lisa I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work, and we have two small children, so we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs, and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends, and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes, too. 3. Victor Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but as soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. Okay, so Lisa, what does she do here? Excuse. Yeah. Awesome. Number two, Sean. Sean calls home. Oh, 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 All right, Miguel, can you tell me something you are too young for and too old for? Miguel Franco. What they did to someone? No, no, you give me an example of something you are too old for and too young for. Okay, 
I guess uh, I'm too old to play football. Really? Yeah, because uh, the, the leg not resist anymore. <laughs> My, over the knee. <laughs> over the knee. Okay, and what are yeah. you too young for? Um, I'm too young. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Are you um, are you married? Yes, I'm married. Do you have children? Yes. Do you have grandchildren? But no children. In my 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 son is a is a is a, a teenager. Okay. Do you have grandchildren? Eh, no yet. Why not? I'm too young. <laughs> it's not the time. Because you are too young exactly. to be a grandfather. Okay, I'm too young to be a grandfather. Good. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's what you should tell your son. Hijo, remember, I'm too young to be a grandfather. <laughs> be careful then. Yeah, be careful then. <laughs> All right, good. Um, Jenny. Tell me. My wife is selling a beautiful, beautiful Chanel jacket. De cuero. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Uh, especially for women. Do you want it? No, I don't want it because it's too expensive. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay, good. It's too expensive. Ni me preguntó cuánto lo tiene. No, pero lo dijo todo. No, no, but I, I okay, yeah, that's true. But yeah, you know, that's true. I didn't think of that. I was thinking, no, because I live in San Miguel and San Miguel is too hot. No, but that's good because it's too expensive. That's a, hey, that's another possibility. Yes. Hey, Alex, do you want you want to come to a party? Yes, sir. All right, cool. It's Saturday night, and it's gonna be in a campanera. Send a dos. <laughs> Can you go? Oh, I don't think so. It's, it's, Why not, it's, man? It's a, a little too dangerous to go there. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't know. They they say. I, I... No, it's not. It's just <laughs> very good. You say no, they man. Say... I don't go there. It's too dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, they say that, but mm, say not that. my constant. I just I just saw on the news, but oh. O una película de Mi Vida Loca. Did you see that movie, Mi Vida Loca? No. You haven't seen it? Yes. Yeah. Así de ignorante estaba yo en pandilla. ¿Se acuerdan al principio que lloraba una mujer? Mi perro. Oh my God, mataron a mi perro. Son malditos. Y yo me quedaba. Wow. Amaba a su perro. I promise you. Yo pensé que eso era. O sea, que pues me di cuenta que hay perro, hay perro, así se tratan todos, de perro, perro. So, mi yeah, perro I, es mi homeboy, mi homie, mi amigo, yeah. mi compa. I just, uh, do, you, do you watch, uh, I remember a, a movie, it was Sangre por Sangre. I that love was, that movie, man. That was for gangster, right? Yes. I can I remember. That's a cool movie. I like that. Yeah, it was good, but... All right. Okay. So, you understand now the difference between two. And, um, for example, um, como, no recuerdo quién fue, creo que fue Miguel Franco. I don't remember. Quien me preguntó si se puede usar para algo positivo. No. Solo en, sar en sarcasmo, quizás. Mm. Eh, en sarcasmo, por ejemplo, los seguidores de Messi dicen que Messi es demasiado bueno para jugar en el planeta. So, you know, like, he's too mm. good. Yes. Sarcasmo, yeah. por ejemplo, a mí no me dejaron entrar a un lugar por ser demasiado guapo. No, I'm joking. Pero lo que quiero decir es que two, 
tanto en español, de estoy en adelante, les he puesto que se van a poner a pensar, hey, es cierto. Tú es decir demasiado. Cuando decimos demasiado es porque representa algún tipo de problema. Yeah. Not, not necessarily a very big problem. It can be a little problem. Por ejemplo, gasoline in this moment is very expensive. Yes. Para mí aún es very expensive. No ha llegado a ese punto de too expensive. Mm -hmm. Porque cuando llegue a ese punto de too expensive, I will take the public transportation. Yeah. Me too. Yes. So like, for example, in, in this moment for me, man, gasoline is very expensive. Y un día si me ven bajando mi bus, ella carro, oh man, gasoline is too expensive. Right. Teacher, in the United States, it's too expensive. Seven yes. and nine dollar per gallon. Yes. yes. Did you see that they're still in the tanks? Están robando tanques? From the cars? From the cars? Mm -hmm. Oh. No. Yeah, the I people are stealing see. gasoline now. <laughs> My God. Yeah. Imagine when we don't have food. Yeah. Imagine. It will be. Better. Oh, when we don't have food, it's going to be a chaos. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, class, then um, thank you very much. I'm sorry about that, the little delay from. Pero ahorita voy a resetear Zoom. All right, because Zoom is giving me too many problems recently. <laughs> ¿Qué significa too many problems? Yo digo, it's giving me too many problems because now it's representing a problem because, look, perdí una clase ya por eso. Mm -hmm. Today I started late. So yes, uh, Zoom is giving me too many problems. So that means I need to fix it. Yes. Chicas, ¿se acuerdan cuando le decían a su otra amiga, olvídalo, vos sos demasiada buena para él? <laughs> you are too good for. Oh, también chico, cuando decíamos así a la chica que nos gustaba, déjalo. You are too good for him. Mm. All right, okay then, class. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good morning. 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 Good morning.